Well, hello there, motherfuckers. So, I, I figured I'd make a video on this. Um, John Morrison is returning to the WWE. Um, you know, a few people have, like, posted this in my comments. And I figured, you know what? I like John Morrison. I don't like the WWE, but I like John Morrison. So, I'll talk about John Morrison returning to the WWE. Um, so, you know, this guy was like unceremoniously released for like unknown reasons whatever the case may be there was stuff with Molina um you know he tried to vouch for Molina and you know he snubbed Trish Stratus at Wrestlemania during the match with Snooki and it was like all downhill from there and one thing led to another and the guy was like ousted from the company and it was like really shady and you know not a lot of whole details it was a lot of speculation and everything but um john morrison was let go then he ended up going to like lucha underground and then he went to impact wrestling where he was johnny impact and he became champion there and you know the the the, the rest you know is basically history like <laughs> John Morrison has been out of the WWE for um, eight years now, you know, and he has like not e like I think he's been in contact with them. There's been some rumored returns for John Morrison, but John Morrison is now back with the WWE. They just signed him, and I gotta say like. I don't know why everyone's excited, but Brad, you just said you like John Morrison. Why are you not happy that he's back in the WWE? Wouldn't having one more of your favorite superstars, wouldn't that make you want to watch regularly again? Thing is what I need to ask people. Look at the current roster that they have. They have Braun Strowman. They have Elias. They have Bobby Lashley. They have both Hardy brothers. They have Rey Mysterio. They have Bobby Roode. They have EC3. All great stars. All of them being used terribly. So if they can't even use the talent that they have at their disposal right now why would why would why would uh, signing someone else be any different they can't even do right by one of their best acts the fiend bray wyatt the raw goes off the air on monday what, what happens okay they're saying brad it, it wasn't televised so it doesn't count seth rollins stomps the fiend four times Makes the fiend look vulnerable in front of a crowd of, of, of thousands. And I'm supposed to look the other way and be like, Hey, John Morrison's coming back. Hey, woo! Hey, hey, I'm not doing that. No, we're not doing that anymore. We're not getting down with our bad selves. Hey guys, everything's fine with wrestling. It's perfect. Everything's peachy keen. No, it's not. It's peachy horrible. This product is the pits, man. It's bad. It's why I stopped doing my weekly reviews. Brad, do your weekly reviews. What am I reviewing? I'm reviewing Garbo. I'm reviewing Cringe Fest. You know, I, I mean, honestly, like, what, like, I'm watching shows that just have consistent wrestling matches with people hurting themselves bad promos non-existent storylines no character development i'm going to i'm just going to like uh like return to wrestling uh, start reviewing this nonsense again and watch john morrison uh get schoolboyed by uh our truth or carmella or something like that you know for the 24 7 title Wow, how entertaining! I mean, remember the last time that we saw John Morrison? One of the last times. He was actually getting beat up by that guy that people seem to hate with the 24-7 belt. <laughs> with the R-Truth. 
Remember? They were a team and then Truth turned on him. Remember? Remember that? So, I don't know. You know, and like, I'm just saying, what? What do you people think is going to happen with John Morrison? And God help me. They better not put him in NXT. I don't watch NXT, but I'm just saying. For their own benefit of looking not stupid. Because they like to do this a lot of times. Hey, let's put the person in NXT. Do you not realize that NXT is exactly what Kenny Omega said it was? And I'm not a big Kenny Omega fan by any means. You all know what I say about AEW. Kenny Omega said that that is just like glorified developmental. And he's right. What else is it? It's not the main show and it's NXT. Oh, it's better than WWE. Okay, that would be like saying that OVW is better than WWE. That might be the case. But the thing is, it seems ridiculous and it is. So I don't know where they're going to put him. I don't care where they put him. But John Morrison is not going to have a successful second run with the WWE. First of all, when you really recount John Morrison's career... In the WWE, it was like basically like one big up and down roller coaster, you know, just like everybody else. Just you know, uh, he he started off in a tag team. They started to elevate him when he won the ECW title. Then ECW ended, and then John Morrison just like kind of went on this like winning the U.S. title, Intercontinental title, forever mid Carter thing and it was just up and down and up and down and like you know they put John Morrison like in one world title match with Cena and Miz and that was like the high point and then after that it was like right back down to the big card again so now that John Morrison has been away for a while and he's worked for other companies and he worked for Impact and all this stuff it's going to be very bad for for uh for Morrison, and it's not like CM Punk, where I, I you know I also did a video on CM Punk. Go watch that one, where I'm pretty much gonna say the same thing. Now CM Punk's got a big ego, probably way bigger than John Morrison, way bigger. John Morrison, from what I've seen and heard, is way more humble than CM Punk, way more humble. So he's not. I don't think this is the kind of guy where. I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not getting schoolboy by our truth in a goofy match. No, he's going to be like agreeable and everything just like he was previously. And remember, this is a much different time in WWE. It, it, it's it's going to be a lot worse for Morrison this time around because he worked for another. Oh my God, he worked for another company even though they released him. But, you know, you're not allowed to have success elsewhere. So when, they, when he comes back, like I said, look for it. The 24-7 stuff, and, you know, Morrison's going to find himself in a very, very similar picture. I'm not saying he'll end up like EC3. I don't think anyone's ended up in, in such a sad state of affairs like EC3. But, but like, Lashley, for example, it's going to be bad for Morrison. Really bad. So, I can't look forward to anything like that. A talented guy... That he's not great on the mic or anything. He did improve over the time. But the guy, he does have a look. I always liked his entrance. The theme music. All that stuff. Uh, you know, he's talented in the ring. You know, and this guy started doing like the high flying stuff. Um, be, be, before like WWE became so spotty. So now all the fans are really going to expect like him to do starship pain in like every single match and all that and do all these different flips and do his standing shooting star press that he does. So they're, they're going to like be demanding a lot from this guy. And he's going to end up getting injured, of course, because like it's I'm not wishing injury on him. I like the guy, obviously, but... Uh, but you know what's going to happen. You already know. You're playing dumb if, if if you're acting like you don't think that John Morrison is going to be forced into doing a spot fest with like like AJ Styles or something like that. People are going to get hurt. They're going to end up burying Morrison just like they do with everybody. And that's mainly the main point. They bury everybody. They can't even keep the, these people at the top. 
Once they even pushed him. Look at Seth Rollins. He's world champion. Then they dropped him down to like uh, intercontinental champion. And then he had to work his way back up to being WWE champion again. Like how? Like so how, how it's going to be? So how, how do you think with someone like Morrison, who he was an ECW champion, but you know what I mean? Like ah, that's, you know, it's the ECW belt. Um, it, you know, he hasn't even been like an actual WWE champion. So it's going to be worse for him. So, you know, and look, Bobby Lashley was an ECW champion. Look what happened there when he came back. So, you, you see my point. You don't really have to think too hard about this. It's not rocket science. You already know that they're going to make a fool out of Morrison. He's going to be longing for the days of Johnny Impact once again. Of course, he'll be making a bigger paycheck. That's a given. But, like I said, you know, when everyone's getting concussions... Careers are ending. Locker room morale is an all-time low. Is this really the best time for a John Morrison to make his return? I'm going to go ahead with no. But he's already been signed. And we're going to see what happens, I suppose. So, there you go, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you excited for John Morrison? I know that I'm not. Because I don't want to see the guy made into a fool. Um... But guys, please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell so you get all the notifications when I post all my new videos. And thank you for watching, guys. I will see you next time.